World Geography, South Asia, India's IT revolution. Here are the learning objectives. One, what is the purpose of a call center? Two, why do global corporations outsource some of their work to countries like India? Three, describe India's educational system. Introduction. Call centers. At a call center, customer service representatives, what they do is they handle large numbers of phone calls for an outside business. Call centers, they can be located anywhere in the world. In the last few years, call centers, they've become an important part of the Indian economy. Information Technology, IT. Call centers are also part of the global revolution in information technology or IT. IT is the use of technology to move, record, and process information. Computers, satellites, mobile phones, the internet, these are all information technology resources. IT, what it does is it allows us to move data around the world instantly. Outsourcing. Information technology makes it possible for companies to outsource call center jobs. The term outsourcing, it means to hire someone outside of your company to do work that was once done inside of your company. Indian companies, they attract these outsourcing jobs to their country because they have a comparative advantage over other com companies. There's something they have that other companies in other countries don't have. They can offer services more cheaply and more effectively than competing countries. Fast growing economy. Location advantages. India is one of the world's poorest countries, but the economy is growing pretty rapidly. Indian companies, they've been quick to adopt information technology and they offer their services to other countries and other corporations at a low price. They also have the advantage of being located on the other side of the world from the United States. And that means that American companies, that they can make use of this time difference by setting up night call centers which operate during daylight hours in India. And the hub of India's IT industry is a city in southern India called Bangalore. Cost advantages. Unemployment and low wages. Labor costs are really low in India, so are wages, and they give the industries a comparative advantage. Why pay a worker so much here in the United States when you can pay them less in India? There's several factors that contribute to how much workers in India earn. First, the size of the workforce that is unemployed. If there's more people looking for a job, then companies can hire you for a little bit less or a lot less sometimes, just because you need the job. And also in India, there's a low cost of living. So Indians can enjoy a high standard of living on just a little money. Working conditions. It's the good working conditions that attract many Indians to these IT jobs. The workplaces, they look like expensive college campuses. They have stores and swimming pools, gyms for the employees. Thousands of Indians, they apply for these IT call center jobs, but only about 5% are hired.
language advantages. English speakers. So in India, Hindi is the national language, but since India is a former English colony, many of the most educated persons, they speak English, but they speak English with a British accent. That can sometimes be a problem. Since English, though, is the main language of business and it's used in most governmental bureaucracies in India, then, you know, English is a, a common language used in that country. Many college classes are taught in English. So India is um, really effective at providing these IT services to its English and its American clients. Workers. Higher education. An educated and a motivated workforce, that's an important factor when you look at India's comparative advantage over other countries with less skilled workers. The Indian government, they invest a large amount of money in higher education, that means university. Particularly, they have lots of people majoring in math, engineering, and the sciences. By 2011, the number of Indians with college degrees had doubled. Primary education. Unfortunately, while the government may focus on university education, they don't focus as much on primary education. Indian law mandates that all children up to the age of 14 must attend school. But in reality, most children leave school much earlier and they never finish. This low school attendance, it means that one third of the country's population is it's illiterate. The main reasons that children do not attend school are poverty. Children have to stay at home and work, to help support their families. Another reason is the caste system. Society doesn't have a lot of expectations on those children that are born in the lower castes. Brain drain becomes brain gain. In the past, educated Indians they could not find jobs near their home and they left India to go work in a more developed country. This resulted in a brain drain for India. However, once the IT industry began to grow in India, there were new opportunities that opened up. And some of these Indians actually returned to India to take advantage of the boom. These Indians, they brought valuable business experience that they had learned abroad, and they opened and invested in new companies. And so the brain drain turned into a brain gain. The end. Thank you for your attention.